Tripura is the land of tribal people of different ethnic groups came and settled in the region from Mongolia, uphills of Burma and foothills of China and other places. From time immemorial, these people live in the interior part of Tripura in peaceful coexistence, depending on Zoom cultivation and food gathering activities in the deep forest. All these tribes have their own traditional colorful culture and heritage being handed down from generation to generation. In fact, tribal life is very simple and full of cultural traits which attract people outside their community and have enriched the Indian culture. Family bondage among the tribal communities in Tripura have its own entity with the male elder member of the family. The family consists of father, mother and their children. All the family rites and rituals are generally observed by them through the village Uchai as per the customary laws of each tribal community. Out of so many cultural traits among the tribes, marriage culture is one of the most important events which depict their cultural heritage and amnestic observation. In fact, marriage in between a boy and a girl in any community or race is practiced to advance the family bondage and extend the family relative which is the thrust point of this documentary. Now, presenting marriage customs and rituals of Tripuri tribe, who are also known as Puran Tripuris or Deborma. In the day-to-day -day life sequence in a family, a female or a male child gradually grown up to adult and learn all the domestic works from their father, mother and other elders. The young girls are trained by her mother in respect of all domestic work including weaving cloths, fetching water, cooking food, etc. Works which she will have to do after her marriage in the father-in-law's house. Similarly, the young boy also works hard with his father for growing food grain, building traditional hut, including family rites and rituals, dance and music, and relationship with relatives, neighbors and friends for social bondage. Father and mother thus take a role to arrange marriage of their son or daughter in right time. Here are different methods of marriage is followed, out of which marriage by negotiation is largely followed. As per Tripoli's custom, the rabbi or matchmaker along with parents of the girl and other relatives visit in the house of the bridegroom. Bride's father arrange drinks, food, etc. for the guest. The bride's father hold a discussion and finalize the schedule of marriage, like koksungu, date of marriage, and related rituals. Oh, okay, so...
Bride and the groom's party then get ready for the actual date of marriage. As because marriage shall be solemnized in the bridegroom's house, all the rites and rituals started before two three days of actual marriage day. Two bamboo made platform designed with bamboos are covered with multicolored cloths. From the bride's groom's house, Izuk, Aya and two boys are invited to perform related to marriage rites and carrying water required at the time of marriage ceremony. Good numbers of married women from the village participate in the ceremony. All the old aged men and women, including group of boys and girls, attend the ceremony and enjoy the day with great pleasure. The young person who have already made two platforms with bamboos and colorful cloth dress it by wild flowers and different flower leaves. These are done one to worship the god Lampra Wathap and other as marriage stage or bedi. Some flower, betel nut and leaves and some other allied ritualistic materials are kept on few round sized plates and wrapped with new cloths. The main entrance of bride and bridegroom's house are decorated with banana plants and flower. Two earthen pots and holy light also placed in front of the entrance and marriage bedi. The village Chaudhary and other guests enjoy rice beer and also sing song with pleasant emotion. In the morning time of the marriage ceremony day, Lampra Wathap deity is worshipped along with Tuisangrama. This is an important family god and worship for family peace and prosperity and as a mandatory part of marriage because with the blessing of God Lampra Wathap, the new couple will be happy in their married life. Series of rituals then start one by one. The Isaacs and two boys take earthen pots and covered round-shaped plates towards nearest water source like stream or pond or collecting water for bathing of the bride and bridegroom. A procession is happened following water lifter. Isaac collect water in a metal jar. A male girl with a chopper lead the procession and cut water with the chopper at cross section. The boys also take bath and collect water for the marriage. During collection of water, drum is beaten, flute is played and cracker sound is made. All women make holy sound in different time. The Izuk make water circle with the water taken by her in marriage pandal and holy sound is played by the women assembled. After water carrying ceremony, bridegroom party move toward bride's house with a decorated plank wheel. Bridegroom party along with drum party, flute men, all village women, young boys and girls take part in the procession. On reaching in the bride's house, some rites are observed. An earthen lamp is lighted at the place where the bride will sit for a holy bath. 
a wooden platform is placed in the courtyard with east direction. The bride's head is then covered with a risha or colored cloth. And Isaac, who is known as marriage coordinator, then pour water on bride's head. Each time before pouring water, Isaac make a water circle with ulu sound. After the rite, the bride dress herself ornamentally and sit in the plank queen, assisted by all female members of the family. Mother of the bride, see of her daughter. An emotional and grave atmosphere take place at that time. After arriving bridegroom's house, Isaac and the girls accompanied the bride to a room. Each old person, along with Isaac, then carry the bride in the marriage pandal when a ritual is done and Isaac pour water from the auspicious metal jar making water circle and then taken back to her room. The bridegroom also taken for a bath before the ceremony in the courtyard by the Isaac and other females assembled. In the next phase, bridegroom is first brought in the marriage bedi. Holy thread is measured by the Izuk and the women make holy sound that is Ulu in several times. The bride then brought in the marriage stage accompanied by two persons and other married and unmarried women. The Ochai pour water, chanting mantras on the head of both the bride and bridegroom, which is followed by other elders. The Aizuk then make round, move the bride and bridegroom in the marriage bed for seven times as the last part of marriage sequences. The bridegroom then take the bride toward his dwelling house, when at the doorstep, a small girl wash the foot of both bride and bridegroom. Mother-in-law then receive her daughter-in-law cordially. The priest then perform some marriage rites after which the bride and bridegroom enjoy with their friend circle and joking relations to play pasa. After the marriage, all young boys and girls
spent the night by singing, dancing, and grand feast, etc. Old aged men and women separately also take drinks and sing to memorize the day and bless the couple for their happy married life. Nuwatiyas are also used the title Tripura as their son name. They reside in different parts of Tripura, mainly Long Thrai Valley, Shabrum, Gandachara, Amarpur, etc. places. Among Nuwatiyas, marriage of young boys and girls is very much important event. Every father and mother take the responsibility to give their son and daughters marriage. One of such marriage is very interesting. After getting information of a girl, the boy and his friends visit the girl's house and discuss with the father of the girl about their visit. Father of the girl also take all actual information about the boy. In fact, only after satisfaction, the father of the girl discuss with the mother of the girl on the issue. If she is satisfied, discuss the matter with the girl and asked her to meet the boy and his friends. The girl then take them inside the hut and welcome them with betel nut, leaves and tobacco pipe. If the girl agrees, then the boy give the girl a gift as a token of oath and love to marriage, which is called Suram, made from the deer's horn as a symbolic love to the girl. The boy then tell his father about his venture and similarly, the girl also tell her father and mother about her acceptance to marry the boy. If the father of the boy agrees, he, along with other relatives, attend bride's house to hold a discussion and fix the date of marriage. The father of the girl and his relatives welcome the bridegroom party in his house where in a detailed discussion health and date of marriage is fixed. The boy's party are given full of entertainment with country liquor and good food. Father, mother of both the parties interact change their gratitude. Both the boy and the girl also bow down to the would-be in-laws and other elders seeking their blessing. The bridegroom party then leave the bride's house for the day. On the day of marriage, the bridegroom and his friend and relative including father and mother attend in the bride's house to take away her in the bridegroom house for formal marriage ceremony. In the bride's house, proper reception is rearranged by the father of the bride and arrange drinking and amusement according to their capacity. A procession with the bride and bridegroom is then starts towards the house of the bridegroom. On the way to bridegroom home, a puja is celebrated to pay homage 
to the Trisangrama deity, sacrificing a cock in the chara or stream. The Ochai chant mantras for the well-being of the newly couple. Just after the puja, the procession further start. All the boys and girls enjoy the journey by singing song, beating drums and playing flute. After reaching house of the bridegroom, the bride is given reception at the doorstep by washing foot of both the bride and bridegroom by a girl. Mother-in-law of the bride core-heartedly received the bride in the house. In the courtyard of the house, a puja namely Lampra Vathap is done for the family bondage of the new couple and their happy life. The Uchai chant mantras and sacrifice a cock in this puja. The bride and bridegroom are then asked to pay homage before the deity. The bride and groom then wear white cloth over their head at that time and Uchai bless them. The bride and groom are then enter in the dwelling hut when they bow down to the father and mother-in-laws. The mother-in-law then arrange Sindurdan ceremony and receive the bride as Lakshmi of the house. Mother-in-law also asks her daughter-in-law to bow down before the chulha. Young boys and girls also make dance with music to memorize the day. Ryangs are the second largest tribal group and belong to Mongoliot racial stock. Their language is classified to the Austro-Asiatic group, to tibeto burman family and recognized as only primitive tribe in Tripura. Ryangs still have belief in animistic culture depending on zoom based life. In fact, Ryang is the only tribe in Tripura who are colorful in their family life and in traditional social culture. Marriage rites of Ryang are very simple. When a boy or a girl grown enough for marriage, they arrange marriage as per their traditional culture. Ryang mother plays a vital role in the marriage of a daughter or son. After harvesting of Zoom crops, they usually take necessary steps. They ask Gorindo Ondra, commonly known as matchmaker, to get them informed about a girl for marriage of their son. Similarly, a girl's father and mother also engage a Gorinda Ondro to find a suitable boy for marriage of their daughter. Gorinda generally approach the eligible father of a girl about a boy and his background with the marriage proposal of his daughter. If the girl's father agreed to the proposal, a date and time is fixed, inviting the boy's father, mother and other guardians. On the prefixed day, Gorinda along with the boy's party attend the girl's house with two bottles of country liquor, cock, etc. Village Chaudhry is also participate in this meeting. The Gorinda introduce the father, mother and other relatives with the bride party. If the bride's father is satisfied, arrange a feast when huge quantity of country liquor is consumed by both the party and date of marriage is fixed in the meeting. On the day of marriage, 
after sunset. A bridegroom is addressed traditionally when some rituals are observed by the Uchai before starting towards bride's house. Skilled flute player and a singer are accompanied along with father, mother, relatives and friends of the bridegroom and make a procession. Pig, cock, country liquor and other are carried with them required to be presented in the bride house. The groom party carry light made of dried bamboos and make joyous sound throughout the journey. Bride party also could understand out of the flute sound up to what extent the bridegroom party have arrived. On arrival in the bride's house, the Uchai perform a puja of Lampra Vat of Deity for the peaceful marriage and happiest life of the bride and bridegroom. A cock is also sacrificed before the deity to appease and seeking his blessing. In the Tong house, the friend circle of the bride and the bridegroom remain present and enjoy the ceremony. Elders of both the village, including Chodri and Ochai, remain present as witness in the occasion. On the center of the Tong, a cane-made mat is placed to celebrate the event. One risha is placed where in the bridegroom and bride sit together facing east side. The bride sit at the left side of the groom. Before them, one metal water pot, a piece of stone, two bottles of country liquor, rice, cotton, salt, and adan lamp, the borok, chopper are kept. The priest then starts chanting mantras with each of the item and pour holy water on the head of the bride and bridegroom and advise them to maintain all socio-religious rules and advance the family. At the end of the ceremony, the bride and bridegroom bow down to the Uchai and there after father-in-laws of both the bride and groom. Both the bride and groom take a drink separately and then Along with the friend circle, enjoy drink and dance with joy throughout the night. On the next morning, a puja of a deity, which is known as Tui Sangrama, is observed in the water stream and a cock is sacrificed for welfare of the bride and bridegroom as a closing part of the marriage. Jamatya is also a Mongoloid tribe, like Tripuris. Their society is patriarchal and patrilineal. They are endogamous tribe. Monogamy is widely practiced among them. When a girl in Jamatya family become adult, her parents start to search a suitable match for their daughter in the village or nearby village. For bridegroom, a puja is arranged by Jamatyas to find out the direction to go for searching the bridegroom. The Ochai, after due examination, direct the family head to move towards any of the four directions like north, south, east or west. Para Chaudhuri takes the initiative to settle the marriage in a meeting of both the parties.
when they inter-exchange their gratitude for their new relation. Marriage schedule including date of marriage is fixed in the meeting. On the previous day of actual marriage to be solemnized, after sunset, Nok Mutai Tamani ritual is observed in a room of the bride's house, wherein the bride and bridegroom will stay in the night after their marriage. This puja is done in the name of new couple for their peaceful family life and prosperity. This room is also known as Benki Bari. The marriage ceremony is generally held in the house courtyard. The Jamatias temporarily construct two panels with bamboos erecting flower walks on the bamboo spitted. One panel is made to worship of 14 gods and the other is for marriage ritual. In the center of the marriage panel, a haya is constructed for standing of bridegroom and bride wherein actual marriage rites will be done. On the day of marriage, Ayjuk and other carry water for bathing of bride and bridegroom. Young boys and girls enjoy by pouring water on both the bride and bridegroom. In the next phase of marriage, the bride and bridegroom are dressed with traditional costumes for attending the marriage panel. They are then brought before the marriage panel when the Ochai take over the church to execute the marriage rites and rituals as per Jamatia custom. The bride then bow down before the bridegroom for three times and they are given a knot of cloths before movement to the marriage baby. The bride and bridegroom then advanced towards the marriage baby and colorful panel of 14 goddess. Firstly, they are presented in the worship place of 14 gods and Ochai asked them to bow down before the 14 gods one by one. Ochai also chant mantras and sprinkle holy water on them. Ochai then accompanied them towards the marriage baby. The bride and the bridegroom then takes seven circle of the Haya along with the Ochai and Ayjuks. After seven circle, both the bride and bridegrooms bow down before the Haya and stands on the Haya. Ochai then first pour holy water on the head of the bridegroom and then bride chanting mantras. He bless them for their happy married life. All the elders also pour water on them by turn. At the last sequence of Jamatya marriage, the couple is taken back to the Benki Bari for playing Pasa. Jamatyas have belief 
that if the bride could first search out the golden ring from the earthen pot with full of water, she will give birth a male child. Jamatya young girls and boys enjoy the pasa play and gossip. From the next day of marriage, the bride become a member of her husband's family.